Uh, hello out there YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Paul World of Entertainment. If you're new here, please hit, consider hitting the like and the subscribe buttons, and welcome. If you are returning, then thank you for coming back, and um, this, vid this video, I'm going to be talking about um, 2020 graduates, the challenges, it's, it's unprecedented with these with the grant what these graduates are going to be facing um to obviously we have our uh pandemic that is to begin with which means going to college um if you're a high school graduate and if you're going to go to college there's a lot of variables as far as where you're going to go and how schooling is going to be done if it's going to be on campus is it going to be online is it going to be a mixture of both? Um, a lot of that is up in the air. And if there's also, of course, the safety part of it. If you're going on campus, how safe will it be? Um, you can always... A school can only take so many precautions. And the thing the thing is that if, even if a school takes all the, all the necessary precautions... Um, you you ne you never know as far as as, as what people will do. Um, people just um, they can be ignorant, and people can go with just take their mask off at any point or out of it. You you, you never know. There is, and that that goes with um, back to what I said in my last video about we need to shut down. Um, but again, th this is going to be a factor. The other thing, of course, is the economic factor. If you're going to be going to college, then you're going to be paying out some money. Now, there are two... The old school of thought was you basically started a four-year university to work, go through your four years and graduate. Um, first of all, my recommendation, and, and this... this this only applies to a certain amount of people. Obviously, if you have a scholarship, take the scholarship, take the, take the free ride, or if you if money is not a uh, an issue for you and you have the money and you can pay for it, then I'll, then I right, hate great more. I mean I, that's that's fantastic to have uh, four years you know will be paid for. And you're not going to be accumulating debt, but for everybody else. And especially if you're not exactly sure what you want to do, um, I would say I would give a couple options. Number one, um, start at a community college, and that's actually that is what I did. And I went to community college of Allegheny County, and then I transferred to Robert Morris. And I would definitely strongly recommend it, and especially in the with the current situation, if you're going to do. If you're going to have a mixture of online and in-person courses, or maybe could end up being all online, you'd like to not have to pay um, a whole lot of of money for it. Um, that's, I mean that 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 does save you a a lot of money. And the other thing is, and this is something that in the past. Um, May not have been looked upon all that, all the, all that well, but take a year off, and with everything that is as as up in the air as much as what it is, um, when you fin when you're finishing with high school now ordinarily, if you're finishing high school and you're going right into college, then it, you're it's basically you're already used to being in a classroom, you're already used to being in school so it typically works well to go straight into college because you're already there you're used to it so if you take a year off um it, it can be an adjustment when you're having to actually get back in, into the uh into the habit of studying again um but this is this is not a normal year and Learning now doesn't necessarily just have to be college. 
And if somebody takes a year off, I mean, they can take that year to um, study a skill and learn a, learn a skill that you don't necessarily have to go to school for. You may not even have to pay for. Or if you do have to pay, you may have to. It may be very little. Uh, that's that's extremely helpful, and that can that that can help you in the short term. It can help you in the long term, um, and then from there, uh, you can also. I I'd also and I'd recommend this. I'd recommend this actually for high school and college graduates, and that is to start your own business or at least your own side hustle, side business that can potentially grow into your primary business and and or at least give you another source of income from a regular job. And when it comes then to college graduates, the job market right now is extremely slim. So that, that starting it that's and plus on top of that with so many people being at home Online businesses, it's a very good time to start an online business or really any type of business. Yeah, you could, it could be a dog walking business. It could be, if you like mowing lawns, a landscaping business. Um, but you know, find find something that can serve at least as a secondary, at the minimum, a secondary source of income and potentially become a, uh, a primary, but the primary source of your income. Uh, and the other thing, of course, with skills, um, a lot of that can also be with the internet, with learning how to do, how to build websites, um, learning how to, learning how to start a business, learning about the stock market. That these are all very useful, and you, you really are not never really ta taught anything about the stock market when you're in school. And you really have to experience that for yourself. Um, you just have to watch. You have to pay attention. You have to. You kind of have to read. You have to learn. Um, but any of any of these um, web development, a YouTube channel. Yes, you can make money. Certainly, make money off of YouTube, and you can make quite a bit of money. I'm, I'm actually trying to grow my my channel as well, and so. The, the, but these are things with people being at home. They're on. Uh, they're in a lot of ways. They're on social media. They're watching on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, and that you can actually utilize these platforms. And basically, you can basically build a brand, which is basically what what I am doing. And so that yeah then. Yeah, that basically covers the big things, but it's a very unprecedented time, and it's an odd. It's a it's for it's very challenging for a new graduate, whether you're graduating from high school or from college. And if you're graduating from college, then you, yeah, you, the job market is going to be tough. And I would definitely recommend for a college graduate to consider starting your own business. And even for a high school graduate, and if you're taking a year off, I would definitely use the time for learning because there's a lot of learning you can do that you don't have to actually go to school for. And so, yeah, but that'll do it. That'll do it for this video. But these are some insights that I have on what the challenges that um, 2020 graduates are facing. And then also that there are all there are some opportunities there as well, because of the situation that we're in, you're a, you're able to uh, take it you know you can still take in a way take advantage. So that'll do it for this video. Again, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons. And otherwise, everybody have a wonderful day.